Welcome to the Awakening Energy, I'm Skeed and welcome to this Universal Life Force Energy, Vital Life Force Energy Transfer. You can go and have sessions with Chi Masters, go and have sessions and sit with Gurus, you can go and find facilitators, Kundalini facilitators in your area. There are many brands claiming they're unique, they're special. These energies have been around for thousands of years. Myself has always had a connection to energies, always been interested in them, always been researching to discover more. Connect with this energy. Today we're going to take this deeper, we're going to add the Shakti and the Prana, once you're connected. The purpose of today is to go deeper, deeper into releasing blockages. Yeah, it's again, it's so important, so important to release the blockages, peel back the ego, the layers of the ego, also called our programming life experiences. Here we go. Receive the energy into Shakti now. Just pull it into your energy body. Help you focus on peeling back the layers into your physical body, your mental body, your spiritual body, your astral body, your etheric body, and all the other bodies, depending on the system you've learned. Balance the chakras here, the main seven or eight. Or 13, or 144, or 10,000 other minor chakras, or meridian points in your physical body, from your fascia. Let's take the energy, float with it. Heal, feel the essence of you, your inner self, your higher self, your true essence. Just take it and let your energy bodies, for example, your auric body, your aura, so you can become aware of your aura. Some people, they might find it a few inches from their body. From others, it could be a few feet or meters away. Just feel where it is. Bring this energy, pull this energy in to help stimulate your aura, your aura body. And see if you can expand it slightly. Just a couple of inches, a couple of centimeters. If you manage to do that with the energy, now pull it in, condense it back to where it was originally, and pull it in a couple of inches, a couple of centimeters more, so the energy feels slightly more compressed. And release it out again, push it out to where you pushed it out the first time, and pull it in. And start forming this slow, sort of rhythmic pumping in and out, in and out. You can condense it on the in breath, or you can expand it on the in breath, and vice versa on the out breath to get the slow pumping motion as you wish. If you wish to release things, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. If you're just wishing to build, 
the energy. Just do it all through your nose. That's it. Just connected, being here now. Letting any energy blockages melt away, disband, break up. Feel the layers of the programming of your ego. Start to soften and loosen. So they can start peeling back over the next couple of days. And as whilst you're here now receiving this energy, when we stop the video, it's not as though the energy ever stops working. If it stopped working, we would have no energy that we needed to clear or raise positive or negative energy. As we do this, let's just raise the energy. Still going in and out, on the in-breath or the out-breath. Let's just raise it a bit more in. That's it. Now, as we've increased the energy within, perhaps you might wish to expand it further out on the next time it expands. You can either even try pulling it in closer to you and condensing it more, see how it feels to you. That's it. Play around with the energy, experiment with it. You need to do all these things and get used to it before we want to use it for anything deeper, like a spiritual awakening or a kundalini awakening. What if you've already raised those things and awakened them? It's still good to do these practices. Because how many people are fully awake? Awakening used to mean enlightenment. So someone who was fully awake was someone who was fully enlightened. And if you read the teachings of the Buddha, you would fully enlightened. You would no longer be here. And someone who's fully awake, technically we should say before it was dumbed down the term, is impossible until we leave our physical body. But we can still work towards the process. Read the yogic texts, read the path of the Buddha, all the other religious and philosophical texts about awakenings and enlightenment. Increase your knowledge. And just go to a Facebook group and say, hey, how do I do this? Find out for yourself. Go read those ancient texts. They're there for you. The books are for to read, to gain understanding. And once you have that understanding, use it, put it into practice then we don't have to rely on belief. We start knowing. We've tested it, we've experienced it. We know it to be true. Belief is a religious term for those who don't want to actually know. Don't do the work, put it in will help you grow as a person. That's it. Don't take anyone's word for stuff. Don't take my word for stuff. Gain understanding, put it into practice. Turn it into knowing.
Can you slowly now stop if you're still pumping? Right body in and out. Just bring that to a stop now. It's starting to come to the end. Just release it and let it be where it wishes to be. If you're releasing with the breath and through the nose, out through the mouth, just bring it back to a regular breath now. That's it. Comment on your experience down below. Namaste.